The next place that you need to have this effective communication responsiveness is in maintenance and work orders. If a tenant needs to get a hold of you to submit a work order, what do they have to do? What's your policy? What's your process and what's your procedure? Do your tenants know and understand that? I'm going to tell you right now at Red Maples, one of the benefits that we have as a management organization, number one, is people who are able to answer the phone or respond to the, the voicemail message if for whatever reason there was multiple people on a call. The second thing that we have is a tenant portal where they can log in and put their work orders in online along with photos and communicate back and forth via the texting platform. And so our tenants are able to have communication with our staff all day, every day for whatever questions that they have. You have to be available to be able to take that work order for when it's important. Nobody busted pipe when it's cold outside, the heat not working. These types of things cannot sit or the tenant gets frustrated immediately in the moment. I mean, think about yourself. If your heat went out, what would you do? Would you take off work? Would you be spending all day trying to get a hold of contractors, trying to fix the heat just in your own home? Yet it's going to take you all the way until the evening time or until the next day in order to be able to even respond to the tenant about these maintenance work orders that are emergency issues. You got to put yourself in the tenant's shoe. You have to see this from the tenant's perspective. There has to be a professional approach to this maintenance and work order so that it can be responsive and have good communication around.